In this video we're going to take a very brief look at multiple image editing via Adobe Camera Raw. If we have a batch of raw images that were taken at the same time and of a similar content, they're very likely to be quite similar in colour, contrast and exposure. Under those circumstances we don't have to manipulate every single image through Camera Raw. We can speed up the process considerably. Now there's a couple of different ways that we can deal with this multiple image editing technique. Of course we need to set up the changes first of all in Adobe Camera Raw but we need to apply them in Adobe's Bridge because that's where we get access to all of the thumbnails. Now one of the ways to do this is to set up a preset in Adobe Camera Raw I've already gone through that process in another video, but just as a sort of a recap, let me just select one of these images and double click to open it up into Camera Raw. Because if I go and select my presets, you'll see that a few moments ago I created one called Lizards. I just put a few edits into this picture, although you're not viewing them in this particular one and I saved it as lizards and I've also applied it to the favorites so that I can get access to it from within Adobe's Bridge. So let me cancel that for a moment. We can go back into Bridge. To apply it, of course we've only got 10 images here but we could have 100 as I've said. I'll select them all with the shift click method. If I then right click, develop settings, I can apply them all in one go. But don't forget these changes are easy to remove as well because there are times if we've got a number of presets that we click the wrong one well just reselect the thumbnails right click choose develop settings and we can clear all of the settings and you see them all pop back to the original. So let me just do that once more so you can see them all change develop settings lizards they all get quite a bit more colour. Now to demonstrate another way we can do the same thing I think I'd like to reset these back to Camera Raw Default so once again with them all selected I'll right click develop settings and clear all of the settings. What I'm going to do is just open up one of these into Adobe Camera Raw and we'll just simulate the fact that we're going to do some image editing here let's just assume that the basis of that is to make them all black and white so I may do that I may put a bit of shadow detail in there I may put a bit of clarity but let's say I'm happy with the result I can click done or I could open this up into Photoshop they both do the same thing the settings would be saved into the XMP data we'll just click done then we can go back into Bridge and take a look. Now as you can see my thumbnail now reflects the changes I placed within it but if I wanted to place the changes I have with the black and white one into the other 9 or another 90 then I need to right click the thumbnail, develop settings and copy the settings then I need to select the other 9, right click and choose develop settings and paste. We will get a panel open up which is the paste camera raw settings that gives me the opportunity to omit some of the changes but here I want them all so I just click OK and they're all applied to my thumbnails. So it may be reasonable to suggest that if we're going to make changes we'll need often then a preset made as a favorite in Adobe Camera Raw is a good option because we can access that via Bridge. But if it's a one-off thing for a small batch of edits like this then possibly the copy and paste from one image to another may be a better option. Either way we do have the ability to speed up our image editing considerably. The other thing we need to bear in mind is because of the nature of Adobe Camera Raw if we did apply settings to a whole batch of images whether we did it via a preset or by copy and paste if we found one image came up a little too bright despite that 
we're not locked in are we we can just double click open that up into camera raw we can make our changes and we're done if you're watching on YouTube please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I post new videos this particular video is just one of a set of videos on the subject of shooting and manipulating raw images. To find the rest of these videos, come along to the website currently posted on screen, look for our Photoshop CC tutorials, and then individual subjects. But I'll put a link in the show more section below. And as you're still listening, why not come along to our photographic and audio visual forum? Meet me and others who share your interests.